Welcome back to my channel, it's me and I'm gonna read and today we have a clothing video. We have Alex, Kiana, Lexi. And today we will be talking about this puffy blue sweater I have on. Um, Kanye West made this sweater. He didn't make it himself, but I called him and he sent it over. But anyways, um, so I'm just gonna ask my new acquaintance friends, besides Alex, um, <laughs> some questions about my sweater. So how do you, what you call it? Like what are your first impressions on this? blue sweater. It looks like something you got from Walmart. Not a memo Oh shit. I respect that. Alright. I like the honesty. Well, it looks really comfortable. Okay. It looks like something that one of the wiggles would wear. Oh my god. I definitely see that. Okay, okay. It's brutal. Alright, the honesty brings out the content energy. But also, where are the drawstrings? There's no drawstrings. Exactly. Like, that's why it's like... I mean, but like, but fashion, you know? But like... Yeah. I don't think drawstrings make up the... I'm gonna run by my room for... It takes away the stress. It's not a drawstring make. Like, what if you wash it and like the drawstrings just come out regularly? So you, you gotta throw away your sweater? Or you just gotta wear it without the drawstrings? That's that's true. That's a valid thing. The okay. worst is when they're like uneven. Yeah, the like unevenness four. is kind of... Kind of wild. But is it satin lined? The hood? Oh no. Kanye didn't think that. See, the <laughs> next drop, you better put some sign. He <laughs> doesn't care about the not being. That is true, but, but and when I put my shroud on, where the hood is just my head just disappears. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a gnome. <laughs> I just, I just that disappear. Was smirk. Yeah, I was gonna say you're a smurf. That's why I don't like, I like putting it on. But that basically is also my question. Or there's any final thoughts before I go to my next segment in my video? Yeah, the satin line hoodie. It's okay, for your I'm gonna hair. tap in. Just like well, black on. It's like a woman who has a black-owned business with that on my tap. Shark that. Tank. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Any other final thoughts? Um, I mean, All right. like I, uh, I was gonna say, would you buy this sweater? I was gonna say that actually. Yeah, I would wear as a hoodie. I would wear. Okay. I wouldn't buy it for like $85. Okay. For $5? How much? It was, $85? It Are was you okay, caveat, caveat, caveat. It was, a, it was an impulsive buy. No, if I saw that at a thrift store, I would buy it. It was a very impulsive <laughs> buy. Sorry, I'm sorry. But I think Yeezy's, so I think Yeezy's um, aesthetic is just like not thrifty, but like not high fashion. It's like but it's still, champion. Uh, yeah. Like, like a champion hoodie. Champion hoodie. Yeah. It, it looks very comfortable. <laughs> if it's well it made. is fluffy. Like, one thing I don't like about it though is just like it's kind of short, even though this is a large. That's a large. This is a large. Oh, I, I feel was gonna... like that's like a good cup though. <clears throat> yeah, like um, you I feel like this is why it's like this too. short. That is also like too. I don't know. Yeah. It's just like something different. I'm not accustomed to, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Anywho's. Is that kind uh, of brand? Yeah, Easy Gab. He has a partnership with them. Oh shit. Sam. Nice. An investment. Yeah. When I, when I saw that money leave my bank account, I was like, damn, I really bought this right now. The second a thread starts pulling, you sense it. <laughs> Literally, or I'm just going to, like, sell it to somebody because, I don't know, I bought it with the idea, like, it was going to get some equity because right now on StockX, it's like 130. So oh, I'm just like, really? I made some money. Yeah. But yeah. But thank you for this segment. You're and welcome. I'll catch you in two seconds talking about my pros and cons of my sweater. Later. Bye. Boop. So we're back in my room and I'll talk to you about the pros and cons of this particular sweater. So I wrote down some, I wrote down three pros and three cons and pro number one is that the sweater looks very nice. Uh, it gives like a thrift vibe slash um, like high end fashion in my opinion. That's just my opinion, but it looks really nice on a lot of different body types, especially um, like if you stack your clothes if or like I want to say layer your clothes, but like if you have a nice undershirt um, with that sort of over it with some nice pants and some shoes, you're valid. So that's pro number one. A con I would say is that the price of the sweater is $85. And now think to yourself, how much clothes or how many different pieces of like garments you can buy with $85? I would say maybe like five, maybe eight different pieces of clothes, but I guess for me, that's like the con for myself because like it was like when that $85 left my bank account plus tax or shipping, whatever, it hurt. And I was just like, I could have spent this money on something else, but it is what it is. So 
I bit the bullet, paid that 85 and I got the sweater. So that was con number one. Pro number two, I would say that the sweater gives a very cozy slash like, like home-ish feeling, if that makes sense. Like when you put the sweater on, your arms is gonna be like, so let's pretend my hand is the sweater, right? So like you have a, a lot of space surrounding your arms. So like you're able to just like move around freely um, within the sweater and you feel very warm within, within it. Um, when I wore this sweater, it was a couple of different times, a couple of different seasons, I'll just say. I think I first wore it um, during winter, then I started to wear it um, in the spring, but it was still kind of cold during the spring semester while I was at college, but it still held up and I really enjoyed like that cozy-ish feeling of the sweater. Um, that, so that was pro number two. Um, I, I would say con number two for this particular sweater is that the waist of the sweater sometimes give the energy of like a little crop top what i mean by that is i'm five foot nine five foot ten maybe six one on a good day but realistically i'm like between five foot nine and like five foot ten right so i got a large in this particular sweater and every time i rose my hands or raised my hands the sweater the, the waist of the sweater would just um would just come up to like maybe like right here above my pants um or my uh, above my waistline so it, it kind of felt like it was a little bit too short like the midsection was a little bit too short however i still enjoyed how it looked when like i was not doing this with my arms i wasn't in the um i wasn't in the predicament of like, raising my hands so that my sweater will rise up but besides that just overall it was like a nice vibe with the sweater but like that was my i guess my biggest pet peeve because every time i raise my hand like why my underwear showing why my pants why my belt is showing like i understand i got ferragamo but like i don't want people to know i got ferragamo so anyways child so that was con number two my last pro for this particular sweater is that the quality of the sweater is very very heavy i would say when i picked up the sweater i would say it's it's definitely it definitely weighs more than a regular shirt a regular shirt on average weighs around like two to three ounces i think the sweater sweater weighs at least maybe like 10 ish ounces or even a little bit more it was it's very hefty it definitely keeps you like warm the fabric the material it, it was given it was fantastic i would say that was like the 10 out of 10 like sweaters that i ever i i ever bought that's not like designer or whatever just regular like gap manufacturer just high quality um garment so that's my last pro and my last con for this particular sweater i would say that it's only very it's only practical to have the sweater on during like cold seasons so winter and spring i would say sometimes fall don't do it to yourself in summer unless you're going out like if unless you're going out and the weather's like maybe like 30 40 degrees at night that's the only time i'll say you wear it in the summer but besides that just wear it like when it's brick outside for my real right new yorkers I mean, you know it's brick outside so when it's brick outside the wind is blowing can't feel your fingertips. Put your hands in the in the in the pockets. Put your, put your put the hoodie on. Keep your head down and keep walking. You're able to do that with this particular sweater. So that's just like my rundown. Yeah, that's just my rundown of the sweater. Those are my pros and cons of it. Um, if you enjoy this type of content, me and asking other people, such as like my friends or just I guess strangers in general, about their opinions on a particular piece of um, garment. Um, let me know down below if you enjoy this format of this type of video. Um, I'll be able to post more fashion videos in the future. I have a haul coming through. I'll I'll say guess what um, what brand that I went with for this particular haul. Think hard. Think very hard. There's a whole hint in this video, but think very hard. But besides that, if you're new to this channel and you made it this far into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell down below. I'm trying to grow this channel to a couple thousand, maybe like a hundred thousand, eventually a million um, subscribers. So I only do that if the support from my uh, my community. So with that being said, this is Norman Reed, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.